All right, motherfuckers. You know what time it is. We back. Cook crack. Uh, now that Random Nation and AEW and all that other bullshit is gone, we back to cooking up these shows every week. You damn right. So we got a tourney popping off for sexy Lexi. We got a couple tag matches tonight. The winners get in the spot in the final four-way. Final four-way will find the winner. That winner fights sexy Lexi at the Royal Crumble. We got two tag matches tonight. We got uh we got J Mad and Andy versus uh Bruja Puta and Wap. And then we also got uh we also got Alize. She got somebody she bringing somebody into the company. Girl got a ten day contract. We're gonna see what she gonna do. But Alize and the mystery partner tonight, they uh they fighting Urza Scarlet. And somebody. I don't even care. These bitches said they fighting, they fighting in the ring. I ain't even booked this shit. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do when you GM. Bitches fighting, bitches want tag matches. Bitches want get in that ring and fuck some shit up. So that's going on. We also got, we also got Franco, you bitch. You think I forgot, nigga? Turning your back on Sunday Night Ski? You damn right. So we got Death Row. We got Murderers Row. We got Killer Cracker. Whatever you want to call them. They out here tonight. OJ Hennessy. Two on one versus Franco, uh, in in the ring. Hopefully they fuck your couch up. I told them no murdering, cause we can't put that on live TV. Even though we on channel one eight seven right here, Coon R V TV, we can't do that shit. Okay, so look forward to that. Turn your back on me, nigga. I see your ass. I see your ass. Also, uh, heard Joe Hendry is on the uh, on the rise, getting back to his glory. Uh, so maybe we'll have some video. Of him training or something, and hurt, hurt. He got a new, he got a new personal trainer. He got somebody he working with in the ring, make himself better. I don't know what that shit is either, but we gonna find out tonight. You damn right. Also, also, Trick uh is back from getting his dumb ass thrown off of a, uh, you know, backstage and getting shocked like the electric chair. How is this nigga not dead? I mean, <coughs> I guess it's reverse horror story. See, yeah, because he was black and. And they, they electrocuted his ass in the fan at the beginning of the show. He definitely would have been dead. I guess since it was after the show, uh, the, the blackness rule kicked in and so he didn't die. Whatever, nigga. I don't know. But Trick said he bringing his friends. He got a new group. Debuting tonight. Uh, him, Mellow, and Swerve are uh, taking on Sangria and his non-talking ass. And the two douchers he got that, uh, they beat somebody on AEW. Who they win? They win tag belts over there or ROH title. Who gives a shit? It's AEW belts. Who cares? Uh, with them two douchers and Sangria, uh, they fight in the main event tonight. We got a little, you know, three on three tag, man. What's all these tag matches? What am I booking? AEW? Goddamn. Ghost of Tony Khan and this shit. Hmm. It was a little bit of, let me go check my salt shaker on my desk. I think it was Coke in there. I don't know. Anyway, we, we, we back. We doing it right. We keeping it tight. We getting ready for this world combo. Everybody declaring, you know, I think Jake Mama might even get in the goddamn women's match. I don't even know. I know if she get in there, there's going to be about eight niggas that's going to throw her over the top rope. Can't wait. <laughs> they going to catch that bitch like we knew they caught Kofi's ass. Except they're going to throw her back in the ring. They're going to take her to the back and hit that little gangbang. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> you know it's the start of the show. When that cracker says, let's go! Lecter lost, yet he still has a job here in ABBW. A change of clothes isn't about to change Caesar's mind. It's punishment time. And 
just like J.H. got punished on Dynamite, it's now time for this traitor to get his comeuppance on Sunday Night Skeet. Take a trip to Death Row. Hennessy Ronan and OJ Simpson. The wrecking crew of Sunday Night Ski. About to hand out some Sunday Night Receipts. Welcome to another exciting episode of Sunday Night Ski. I'm your host and commentator, Mr. Mediocre Tan Cunt here. And okay, all right, I guess the their music is just going to be playing throughout this entire beatdown. Look at this, my God, OJ stomping Franco's face in as the Hennessy Roman gets ready for his turn. No rules. Two on one handicap match, and Franco is fighting for his life. Look at this. OJ and Hennessy. We're about to see a double team from Death Row. My God. Franco's trying to get the hell out of there. The Hennessy Ronan. Oh my god, did you see that? They both crashed and burned. Good god. I don't know if that was a shout out to AEW or what, but Franco about to get got. Franco is fighting for his life, wearing his John Cena jersey. I don't know if he deflected the WWE, but he just got hung up on the apron. My God. Balls count anywhere. It's OJ here to the tippy top. Once again, is he going to crush and burn? He's going for it, I think. Oh, he misses again. Franco still getting his ass beat down. The stairs come in play, of course. OJ keeps signifying he's about to chop his head off. That can't be good. Franco, he's holding his own, even though this is a handicap beatdown. He's not getting, you know, too murdered like I thought he would be. 
Especially with these two. for the pinfall attempt. <laughs> oh my god, there he goes. OJ finally hits the spot, but Tennessee does not. OJ was determined to fly over that fucking top rope and hit something. And he finally did. See what happens when OJ is a free man? He grows wings and fucking flies. Franco just got the taste kicked out of his mouth by the Hennessy Rodent. And that's awesome. Oh, Franco's still alive and kicking. Not gonna save him though. We got these two are just. Trade attack. Franco is getting destroyed here. The BBC. That's all she wrote. Death Row Records wins and come up into another time and straight out of a fairy tale Urza Scarlet back to back Royal Crumble winner and it's that time of year again folks uh, you never know what the fuck's gonna happen here in APBW but tonight she's tagging for another opportunity Trace this woman's roots all the way back to Decent Mania 1. Multiple times APBW Women's Champion. She was involved in a blockbuster trade. The first trade between brands. Wanted a green card for Tank Chris. And now tonight she teams with another legend. For an opportunity. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Would you look at this? That's Alize teaming with Hypnotic. That's that's the Hennessy Ronin's girlfriend. Hypnotic and Hennessy. I believe we're caught fucking multiple times backstage. And now Hypnotic teams with Alize, two newcomers, taking on two legends here tonight. Here we go, folks. We have Urza and Juanita taking on Alize and Hypnotic. Of course, the first pinfaller submission wins the match. Alize taking it to Juanita. We have Urza trying to choke out Hypnotic immediately. Look at this. I guess in the month of January, Urza gets superpowers. Back-to-back -back Royal Crumble winner, folks. She's getting a weapon. She wants to beat the hell out of Hypnotic. This is the welcoming wagon. For newcomers here, Urza about to bust out her sword skills on Hypnotic, but Hypnotic goes for the pinfall attempt. It's a one count, Alize dropping Juanita on the outside. Urza Scarlet. Dropping a DDT on Hypnotic as Juanita goes for a pinfall attempt on the outside. Does not get a one count. Neck breaker by Urza. No! Knockout blow. Oh my god. Cracking. Jesus. Hypnotic just busted that stick right over Urza's skull. And meanwhile, Juanita and Alize fighting on the outside. Wait a minute, Urza's feeling it. Urza! Titania splits Hypnotic in half and goes for the pinfall of Tim. Could this be their ticket? Yes! Urza and Juanita move on to a four-way Take it as they show the newcomers how it's done. They now move on to a fatal four way to determine the number one contender. We find out the other half later tonight. Larry Bird. 
making his debut. Sunday night, skinny look at him getting the crowd hyped. What is in that cup? Larry Bird all fired up. He's going to have to be. My God, look at him. He's taking on the Hulk, Joe Hendry. We got height versus strength here. My God, look at Larry. Larry fucking gigantic son of a bitch. But Joe Henry, he's coming down off the roids apparently. But that doesn't make him any less swole. This is a part of his uh, punishment. He doesn't get to come back to the Sunday Night Skeet Arena until he gets his ass in check. Larry Bird, this fucking gigantic vanilla beanstalk, gets a one count on Joe Hendry, who was chicken and waffles champion for what, an hour? Like how long was he champion until he got stripped? Not even sure, but Larry Bird taking the man's head off. Larry Bird, good God. This gigantic, lanky, honky. Again, this must be where he gets his fucking superpowers. Is a basketball court. Talking trash the whole time. Larry Bird and Joe Henry. First time ever matchup. My God, he just tossed him over his back like nothing. Those are the roids talking. Oh, a super kick by a fucking super bird. Larry Bird. We got two fucking, this is a freak show here. Uh, a Sunday Night Ski. We got a kendo stick involved now. Joe Henry needs a weapon to slay this giant. Larry Bird is 6'9", folks. As he goes for a power bomb from all the way up there. Look at this. Barry emasculating here. Burying his junk in Joe Hendry. Now, both men were thinking the same thing here, but Joe Hendry. Having a tough time with Larry Bird. The greatest honky to ever lace up uh, fucking basketball shoes. But Joe Henry makes it look so easy to toss a giant over his shoulders. Hopefully Joe Henry believed in rehab. Oh, as he eats a damn tornado DDT. Larry Bird showing. Joe Henry, oh, here we go. The stairs. Larry Bird, he's fitting in in APBW. Getting the stairs. Oh, clobbering Joe Henry. And a pinball attempt. The ref is right here. No, oh, Joe Henry is still alive. Larry Bird has been relentless. Joe Henry is, he did not expect this kind of fight from a fucking senior citizen Hall of Famer. He gets the other stairs. He's like, fuck it. He busts open. Joe Henry is bleeding, folks. Larry Bird. Oh, look at this. Joe Henry finally throws up some offense here. Tossing him in front of our COVID-free crowd. And oh, right on the barricade. Ouch. Larry Bird gonna hurt his jump shot but Joe Henry now getting the punishment still dealt to him right here oh chop knee oh right to the face 
Is that it for Joe Henry? Larry Bird slays the ball. Oh, no. Joe Henry still here and fighting, but look at Joe Henry. If you believe in Joe Henry, you better grab your rosary. This man is going down in flames. He's bleeding all over the high school arena. And Larry Bird is making his life a living hell. Larry Bird tosses him back into the ring. If Larry can pull this off, the legend of Larry Bird will grow! Oh my God, what the fuck was that? What the fuck? What's Vince McMahon? Vince McMahon is interrupting Joe. Larry Bird is being... Wait a minute, there's fucking Vince McMahon with the world's worst stunner of all time! Joe Henry! Looking to capitalize. Vince McMahon stunned Larry Bird. I never thought I would say that sentence in my life. Larry Bird is up to his feet first, though. But a damn standing ovation could get Joe Henry the victory. No, Larry Bird is still in this. Larry Bird is still in this. Joe Henry is looking for another weapon. Another kendo stick. It took the help of Vince McMahon. Look at he's going right after Vince McMahon. <laughs> Larry Bird is attacking Vince McMahon now. Look at Joe Henry taking advantage of the distraction. He has to fight Vince McMahon and Joe Henry. This is not fair. For Larry Bird. He's tossing that senior citizen aside. Joe Hendry. Oh my God. So Larry Bird kips up. Larry Bird is not going down without a hell of a fight. And his debut here in APPW. Look at this. Oh, takes his knee out. Joe Henry. Again with the damn weapons. Larry Bird trying to catch his breath. Oh, man. There we go. Larry Bird. Tossing Joe Henry around like he tossed Joe Henry's sister salad. At least that's what he said. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Shit. This motherfucker is going all Beverly Hills Ninja on us. We got Joe Hendry. Oh! This fucking kendo stick must be made of steel. It has not broken yet. Oh, fuck. There it goes. Larry Bird. Putting Joe Hendry through the ringer here. Oh, shit. We got a steel chair now. This ain't gonna break. Oh, fuck. Larry Bird is about to dunk his balls in Joe Hendry's mouth if Joe Hendry doesn't get his shit together. Oh, shoulder breaker. Somewhere Papa Shango just smiled. Kicks out at two and a half Larry Bird. Still. Wait a minute, Joe Hendry. Oh, eats a super kick. What is this? Larry Bird, he Superman punches Joe Henry. You gotta be kidding me. Larry Bird has just won his debut in ABBW. I can't believe it. The legend picks up a dub. And his legacy continues. Better stay out my way. Here is the second women's tornado tag. Two of these women will join Urza and Juanita.
and a four-way match to determine the number one contender to face Lexi for the APBW KO Championship. Of course, we have Andy with an I teaming with J-Mad, both former APBW Women's Champions, Versus Bruja Puta, who's got History Maker written all over her, and Lap. Lap, of course. I sound like a broken record, but she is waiting for her breakout moment. And APBW has not got it yet. But who knows? Tonight could be the beginning. As J Man about to leap right onto Lap. Andy and j -Bad are beating down WAP as Bruja finally catches up. It's anything goes. Oh, Andy to the steps. Bruja. Bruja taking down both women. But Bruja Puta, the winner of the first ever women's. Royal Crumble match. Royal Crumble right around the corner. She could have a championship match this time. Who knows? But Bruja busy taking down these women as j Mad celebrates in the ring. Andy in all kinds of trouble double stomp by Bruja to Andy. Again, Two women, the two women who win this move on to join Urza and Juanita in a four-way to determine the new number one contender for Lexi's championship, the APBW KO championship. Which, by the way, Lexi, the Lexi Goat, I cannot sing her praises enough. She might be the female of the year. Meanwhile, Bruja and Andy fight it out in the ring, and we have J Mad choking out Lap on the outside. Bruja's gonna have to save the day. No, Lap fights her way out of it. She fights her way out of it. Bruja making sure J Mad does not get any more offense. No! J Mad puts a stop to it, and Andy gets tossed back into the ring. Lap and Bruja. Oh, tossing J-Mad aside. Andy with an eye. Look at this. Abdominal stretch was interrupted. But all four women fighting on the outside. They are not getting on the inside of the ring. No weapons introduced yet. But they are beating the holy hell out of each other. And a nice... Hammerlock DDT as Wap goes for the pinball attempt on J Mad. Cook this all. So close, so close. The Bruja now sets her sights on J Mad. Andy's celebrating in the middle of the ring for no reason. And now here comes Bruja to make him pay for it. Bruja Puta. Look at this. Cold Red takes down Andy. And Wap attacking j Matt Falls count anywhere, folks. I guess the further the better, but the ref is not even in, he's not even trying to count. He's not trying to count. j Matt had that pin for a while. j Matt. Now being beaten down by Lap and Bruja. Andy far, far away. Oh my god! A destroyer on the ramp. Why are they moving? They're sliding down the ramp? What the fuck's up with that shit? <laughs> Look at them sliding down the ramp. Another beautiful glitch by 2K. Andy is taken down by Bruja. These four women fucking each other up. And look at that! Incredible! Oh, Andy 
was a picture perfect drop kick taking down Bruja as wow oh my god dropped Andy on the diamond plate on the ramp looks like J Mad's in trouble so is Andy J Mad and Andy getting beat down right now on the outside a pair of two counts Bruja wow did you see that that could be it no Bruja with a Frankensteiner like fucking dragon Rana. I don't know what the fuck that was. But a hammerlock DDT scrambles Andy's brains. Wap can pick up the victory. Yes, he does. Wap and Bruja move on. I need a hard hit. I need deep stroke. I need a heading drink. I need a lead smoke. I need a guard snake. I need a king pole. I need a hook in and hook me. Congratulations. Wap is one step closer. Making an impact in ACDW as the history maker Bruja moves on his defended his title the past three weeks and tonight he thinks he's gonna flex against his opponents the HNIC that's what it says on my paper folks I'm just reading it they're just letters but we have the solution here Trick is still alive. But now they are all in the ring together. It's payback time. A 
it's a six man tornado tag. First pinfall, first submission wins the match. Anything goes. Falls count anywhere. Swerve. And Mangria tangling on the outside, on the inside. Look at this. What the hell? Bulldog takes down the champ as Trick and Nemesis clash. Oh, Travis just pulls lined up, but Jesus. And a swerve versus Big Dumb Hick. This dude is about a hay bale short of Festus. Mangria beating down Trick. Of course, the man who cost Sunday Night Skeet the crumb off. I feel he has been punished enough. Did you see? Nemesis taking out Swerve. Now Mangria again targeting Trick. Power bomb, my God. Nemesis. Buries his knee in Mello's face. Swerve hits the Meteora on Travis. Swerve is trying to get the HNIC back into this matchup. Oh, Flatliner. Mello takes down Nemesis. We got a pinfall attempt on the outside, but it did not. Nobody even got a one count. All six men fighting it out on the outside of the ring. It's going to be almost impossible to get a victory with everybody so close together as Nemesis goes for the pinfall attempt. Chaotic main event for Sunday Night Skeet. Man, Gria unloads on Swerve. Look at that. What the hell did Nemesis just do to Carmelo Hayes? Trick in the ring alone. As the solution goes to work. There we go. Now Trick and Swerve are about to show Mangria. How oh, it's done. Look at this. JML Driver by Swerve to Mangria. Who gets a two and a half? Could you imagine a Swerve pin, the king of speech? Nemesis pin Trick. Look at this, the world's most deadliest move by Mangria to Swerve. The ref doesn't know where to go. Wait a minute. Oh, who the fuck got pinned? I didn't even see who got pinned. The solution takes it, but I didn't fucking see who got... I guess Nemesis pinned Mellow? I, I'm not sure, but the solution solves the problem, apparently.